Oh my gosh, well, this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be cute. <gasps> oh, look at them go, the babies. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is that? Ah, put out the fire. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're setting the holiday home on fire. Hey, my little Petronies, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. Look how pretty all of this is. Look at these beautiful snowy vibes. We are, of course, on holiday with our family in Mount Komorebi. I think I'm now getting that right first time, which is fun. Uh, with the whole gang in their cute little holiday home. However, <laughs> I'm about to ruin this whole woman's holiday because you guys made a really good point. That whole little mint here is not going to be completing all of her challenge aspirations if she just be skiing, having at the time of her life all day long. So this feels way, way too reminiscent to me because once me and my brother went on holiday and my parents took a, they went into school and asked for schoolwork and then took a bunch of schoolwork with us. And every evening, basically, we had to go ahead, actually just do a load of school work for like hours in this little room in the hotel whilst on holiday. So that was, I would say, not big fun. But yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and recreate the cruelty because I am gonna make my little sim mint here do the exact same thing. Minzy, she ain't called mint anymore. I apparently cannot fit it in here. We'll just do some hallway chests like this. So yeah, I have gone ahead and bought her a chess table. I'm so sorry. We'll make it mint because <laughs> you know, that is how we roll. But yeah, there you go. It is more green than mint, there's no mint color. I've got her a chess table so she can keep working on her logic. She also needs to work on a mischief as well. So I actually low-key think if there's no PC here, which there ain't, I'm also gonna buy her a PC. So Chris, tag in. You get to have fun day with the kids and Minzy has to stay at home and do work, so. Definitely we drew the straw straw there, but he stayed in last time, so it's totally fine. Okay, there we go. I've got her a laptop as well. So, uh, also, can I just say, I came back to the house. Look at this. Good company from adoring someone nearby. Sims appreciate being around someone they adore. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Again, no idea. Is it mod? Is it in game? Who knows? However, it is really, really cute. It's 9 p.m. You guys say that um, this little baby here, little Jasper, will be able to toboggan. So I thought tomorrow we'd go ahead and give that a go because I want to see the animation. I imagine it's really adorable. So I'm going to get everybody to do some sleepy pies, please. Look at Chris. He's got loads of energy because he's just been sat at home. He's like, I want to ski. Oh, cat litter tray. Also, we forgot about that one, didn't we? I'm going to put it outside because I don't want to ruin my vacation home. So yeah, more exploring of Mount Komorebi with the gang. More advancing of Minzy and her like mint specific things that she has to do as part of the challenge. I'm just small vibing out with my new favorite family. Don't forget if you guys enjoyed this challenge, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribed and hit that notification bell. So so you never miss a video in this series. Also, if you guys checked, I did actually build my own Japanese home in this new snowy escape world. So go ahead and check out the gallery if you want to download it or check out my channel if you want to see me build it. I put a lot of effort into it, gang. Oh, you're watching her play, but honestly, you should be in bed, so less cheering. More putting your kids asleep, you know? Make sure everyone's in bed. Do some little tucking in and whatnot. One chitter tucked in, two chitter tucked in, three chitter tucked in. Also, two more than we planned. <laughs> oh, what? I have the option just to poop. What? Is that because he's playful? I've never seen that before. The whole time I've been in Sims, it's never just said poop. That's really weird. <laughs> That's kind of gross. <laughs> Minzy used a tampon. Okay, she's doing it on her own. Love that. L the less I have to do with that, the better, honest to God. I am going to go ahead and serve some breakfast for the gangland. Oh, no, we're getting cereals. Okay, we're getting cereals. You have woken up looking really adorable, though. Look at her little blush across the cheeks. What a cute fun fun. I do love Minzy a lot. However, even if I do love you, I've got a real boring day plan for you. So you can go ahead and play some chess and then troll the forums. And it's just going to be that back to back because uh, I need to get these little bits for the challenge done. I wish you could still go for work from here. I wish we could just like live here for a little bit, but maybe in one of the future generations we will. <gasps> Feeling protective from adoring someone nearby. When Minzy is around someone she adores, she wants to protect them and keep them safe. She's around little Rose there. Has she got one of these new lifestyles already. Is that why I'm seeing all this new stuff going on with her? She doesn't have anything yet. Is this just like new fun that happens? Lifestyle go poof. Oh, you can get rid of it. Is this just new stuff happens since the lifestyles in Snowy Escape? I don't know. I have so many parts that I don't know what's in game and I don't know what is just my mods, you know? Oh, Jasper's woken up desperate hungry and pooping in his diaper. Good start, Jasp. Okay, so let's create explorey group of the day. I'm so sorry, Minzy. It does not include you. However, you don't have to look at the kids. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. Are you doing your chess? You are. We've got all sorts lined up for you. Once you've done this back to back for a while, I'll allow you to pee. You may pee before then. <gasps> and she's already reached her lifestyle daily cup. 
Mincy has reached the daily cup for lifestyle, but she still doesn't have one. How much do I have to do to get this? Like, I don't even know which one she's unlocking. If any of you guys have had more luck with this than I have, I keep reaching my daily cup, but no one's getting anything. So like... <sighs> I don't know. Also, if I marry a future NPC, will they already come with lifestyles? Or will I have to build them up again from scratch? These are questions I'd quite like to know the answers to, but as of yet, I do not. Okay, we're gonna go back to the slops. I'm gonna get Chris to do some sledding with Jasper Rooney, who is really, really desperate to be blonde. Might have to let him change his hair color. Who else did we do that with? One of my other Sims, I set a hair color, but he changed it so much that I just allowed him to change it. Is it Kane? Someone did it, someone did it. And you guys can go ahead and do Wait, did one of you ski and one of you snowboard last time? I feel like Scarlet snowboarded and Rosie skied. So let's do a bit more of that. They're also doing the homework while they're away. Jesus, this is a calorie family holiday. Because that was me and Din. And oh my gosh, she carries him over. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> you look adorable, Chris. Like, you're really starting to grow on me. However, please do not bring our child to go down a snowy slope without his little winter gear on. He's so cute. You like help. I was not prepared to love this child. This look at him. You can't deny that he's really cute. Okay, I'm so ready for this animation. This is gonna be so cute. Do sort of low-key wish it was Minty doing it, because you know she is our heir or higher, as I like to say. But daddy and son time is cute as well, so we'll allow it. Look at his little movement. This is gonna do wonders for his little look at his little boots. Oh, you're so freaking cute. Okay, are you gonna just get in your little oh? Look at them getting in. Oh my gosh. Well, this is going to be cute. This is going to be cute. <gasps> oh, look at them go. The babies. The babies. Oh my gosh. What? 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 Do it again. Do it again. I want to follow you guys down if you do it again. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Where are the girls? Where are the girls? <gasps> look at little Scarlet snowboarding down. Rose, I just saw you on your butt, babes. Oh, what? Scarlet's really good. Like, she's not fallen over at once. I bless them. I feel like they're, they're getting their own little... Oh, Scarlet, what's wrong, babes? They're getting their own little personalities and stuff already. Oh, you need a wee. Okay, okay, okay. I will allow you home to go wee. But yeah, like, I feel like Scarlet is a little bit more of a bold, strong individual. Why are y'all pooping? Why is this thing? I don't like you. Rose is a little bit more of like, I don't know, sticks with the fans a little bit more, a little bit more of a quiet kind of vibe sim. And you guys are definitely thinking more about having Scarlet as the continual for this generation than Rose. <gasps> Look at them go. That's so cute. So cute. <laughs> okay, do it once more because I want to catch your faces halfway down the mountain, please. Rose is sad from it just wasn't my day. Poor ski performance. She had a productive day on the slopes. Skiing is not as easy as the people on TV make it look. I totally agree with you there, babes. I hate skiing too. I don't hate it. I'm just long and, and tall and my center of gravity is high. I'm not very good at it. Okay, this is how they look midway down. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Look at them. <gasps> look at his big eyes oh my gosh i love that that i'm sorry but that's really cute look at that. oh my gosh okay i have to try and get that with Mindy at some point and is she gonna make it to the bottom without falling no okay it's it's not for her fair enough it's just not for her she hates it don't do it anymore baby you're not enjoying it is there any other stuff you can go do instead i feel like at the top of the mountain like there's just gonna be more skis <laughs> So I don't know if that's gonna help you. I mean, you can you can try it, see what else is up there. You might be happier down like lower in the mountain though. Oh man, I really wanna do the climb. I don't think kids can do it though, but I can't even click on the wall. If they go here, can they actually get there? They're gonna try it. I, I mean, look at them going through the snow. It looks really thick. And Nanami has come along as well to hang out with um, Scarlet today. I don't know if she's met Rosie. I'd like them all to make friends. Rosie's feeling down, like super down. She hates that she's bad at skiing and she's feeling bad on herself. Yeah, look, they can't get to the top. It's too high from them. Jasper is hungry. Okay, please can we feed the baby? No more sledding. It's just like non-stop sledding with you two. I'm gonna get Chris to buy him and Jasper some, some foodies. While the girls all hung out at the top of the mountain here, I'm kind of thinking I kind of want to give Nanami a makeover. <laughs> I just want to throw some CC on her because if she's gonna hang out with my gang, she kind of needs it, right? Oh, look, this is her family. Naoki Ito and uh, Megumi Ito. I think they're uh, mom and dad. And then Kiyoshi is her brother. Kiyoshi's cute. Oh, hello, Kiyoshi. <laughs> and then here is little Nami. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just just bang a little bit CC on her. Just so she fits in with Gangling. She's super cute. 
cute. I'll try and keep her looking similar though. Okay, there we go. I've tried to keep her as similar as possible. I've not, I've really not done much. She's also got the chopstick savvy and the kleptomaniac tree. I actually think some of you guys warned me about this in the comments. She did have brown hair, by the way, not black hair. Some of you guys did warn me in the comments that she's a kleptomaniac, which is kind of fun. Uh, I'm gonna keep her as that because I think it's sort of adorable. And I just need to check the bro out just real quick because I feel like we got some potential here. Okay. I mean, he is definitely, I would say, confirmed secret hottie. He's like the one they've put you in to just like meet while you're out here. The brother's a hottie. Look out for him in your snowy escape playthrough, gang. Oh no. <laughs> what? What's happening to her? Why has her hair got a life of its own? Her hair looks like it's trying to make its way to Scarlet and strangle her, which is very creepy. The helmet's really messed with her hair, but still. Okay, they're looking all cute together. Rosie's not getting involved. She's just not having a good day. She's there browsing website. They're so different. They're already like all so different to each other. I don't mind. I kind of like that. There's only one, I mean, there isn't only one way down, but there's only one cool way down. So why don't you ski on the easy slope, okay? You can do it at high intensity, but you go this way. And um, then Scarlet, you're a little bit braver, so I think you could try this one. Although you are currently freaking out about a monster. What monster are you on above? There's no monster. Oh gosh, go easy. Maybe the kids can't go on this slope. Maybe the kids are only allowed on the baby ones. Oh, oh well. Okay, let's try this one then. Yeah, look, the kids can only go on the easy slope. Okay, little Rose is going down. Oh, well done. Oh gosh, Rose, you make me nervous. You make me nervous that you're gonna hurt yourself, but just be careful. Scarlet and uh, Nanami are gonna snowboard it. Rose, did you manage to make it to the bottom, babes? Where you are? You're nearly at the bottom. You've got this. Be careful, okay? It reminds me of when I watch Ali ski. This, I feel the exact same way. Okay, she made it to the bottom and she didn't. F no, okay, depressed. Better look next time. Too much slope. She's not a skier, guys. It's not for her. It's not for her. Scarlet's up here. I think is Nanami going first? Or are you guys gonna try and do it together? Okay, let's see how you do. Please, please go easy. I I kind of feel like I need to probably buy them that own stuff at some point, or at least Scarlet, because she enjoys it, so I could get her around snowboard. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's so good, but just be careful. I don't know how, I didn't see Nanami get down. Maybe she's already down. Jasper's gonna get taken away again. I apparently just can't be trusted with toddlers in any way, shape or form. She's really good. I want her to become a teenager so she can go on the harder slopes, but I think they've still got a bit of time left. Good job. Well done. And there's a fire. Nanami discovered the fire. Nanami, have you just come into our house and started a fire? Where is this fire? I can hear it, but I can't see it. <gasps> Oh my gosh, what is that? What's on fire? Is that the bin? Ah! Put out the fire! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're setting the holiday home on fire. Is it from the heater or is it from the fire? I can't tell. There's no alarm going off though. Quick, extinguish it! Go on, Minzy, you got this. Oh, I'm so sorry, Polo, your bowl is on fire. It wouldn't be a Clash Mom video without fire. It was going too well. We've only ever had one fire in the whole of this series so far, and that is just not the way I roll. I, I usually have like 10,000. Wait, what's still on fire? Is the outside on fire? Oh, <gasps> the outside of the house is on fire as well! Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of low-key looking desperate. Okay, well done, Minzy. We put the fire out. That's gonna cost us a bunch more money because we have to replace everything. Literally, we have to replace everything from the fire in our holiday home. Jason Lee is like, I want to go over and hang out. Like, Jason, babes, I'm in, I'm in Japan. Have you, you've not noticed you've not seen me at work this week. And there's no water at home, but <laughs> we're in holiday, so it's fine. Jason was just out here all on his own with a stranger. Okay, Chris, please can you bring your child home? Oh, what's this around Chris? If I click on Chris, he's got this little yellow thing. What does that mean? It's got a little like book with a heart on it. I've no idea what that means. Interesting. I can't find out what the yellow border means. It doesn't say anything when I hover over. <gasps> it's gone now. What did it mean? I was so intrigued. Chris, please bring the toddler home. Oh my gosh. And she's been playing chess all day. She's only just reached level eight. I sure do miss my tiny house bonus gang. I sure do. So logic's level eight and a mischief's level seven. We're getting there. We're pretty close. We're pretty close. Oh, look at Chris. He's worn out after his tobogganing. I bet his butt is killing. I have a damaged coccyx, which is the last bone in your spine. So tobogganing for a whole day would absolutely kill me. I, I would just be dead. I would hate that. And still, nobody has a lifestyle. <laughs> Somebody, please get a lifestyle. It's driving me kind of mad. <gasps> Nanami wants to hang out with... Oh, she wants to take her to a cafe. Wait, is that in Japan? You know what? I kind of want to see... Can I see if she lives? Like somewhere around here. I want to see her housey. Oh, I wanted to send Rosie and Mindy to do a little bit of Queen's Gambit, do a bit of chess together. Can I like figure out where she lives? What was her last name? Was it Ipo? Ito. Oh my gosh. This is their house? They're so rich. 
Is it kind of weird just to be like, let your child on holiday go to another family's household? Maybe, but I want to see the house. Jeez, look at this place. Okay, so these guys be very rich. Our uh, little Nanami is here. The bro is here as well. He's a teenager, so he's a little bit older than these two. I don't know how far into teenhood he is. Laugh at embarrassment. He's embarrassed about something. Let's do respectful introduction to him too. Where are the mom and dad? They've got a beautiful home. Is it in the old games or when you'd get to a house like this? It, oh, why are you angry? Okay, don't yell at me. It used to be like, Scarlet learned that Nanami is rich, but it doesn't really say that anymore, which is a bit of a shame. They've got weights in their room. <gasps> this is on Nanami's room. I love the little bed. Oh, she's got a little science kit as well. That's cool. Oh my gosh, my mom would love you. She do be a scientist. <gasps> and Scarlet's completed her aspiration. Her first part of her aspiration. What? I think her brother's watching her because her parents aren't there. And also, Nanami's kind of low-key a bit mean, I'm realizing. She's just in a bad mood. She was nice before. Now she's kind of kind of low-key a bit moody. She's stomping around the house there. Okay, awkward. Okay, because Nanami's like, they're not even friends anymore. <laughs> they were friends before, but they're not actually friends now. Because she's in such a bad mood. She's just spent the whole time talking to the brother. Are they playing chess together now? The mum's come home. Oh, the mum looks like also she finds the daughter hard. Oh gosh, okay. Interesting dynamics going on in this family. I feel like, um, you know when you go around to your parents' house and they start arguing, your sorry, around to your friend's house and they start arguing with your parent, their parents and it's just really awkward and weird. That is kind of how I feel right now. So I want to send her home, but you really do have a lovely home. And, oh my gosh, she's almost maxed out her social, which is good because for Scarlett, she has to, if we do decide to have her as the next generation, she's meant to max her charisma skill. So this is putting her well on her way. <gasps> she's reached level six. How Can this get all the way to 10? Okay, nice. That's good. That's really good. <gasps> and they've only got one last little day left here. Okay, let's head home to the family lambs. Okay, they've been building their skills and stuff while I've been away. But I want them to have like a nice final family meal together. I want to try and get this working. Like I've not been able to do it so far. Like it, they never do the pot. Oh, okay. I think they're doing it. Nice, nice, nice. Girls, come join, come join. Oh, and the little the little toddlers don't sit around the table, which is kind of big sad, but still cute. Why, why is your hair so yellow? It is so yellow, like just insanely yellow, but whatever. Is this actually nice quality now? Okay, sukiyaki is what they are eating this evening. It looks real yum. I feel like they've all had a good time, apart from Rose, who I don't know. The ski snowboarding sl slope life is not for her. She also do be looking tired, but Scarlet made a rich friend -o, a very rich friend. Friendo. Jasper had some really nice bonding time with his dad and Minzy leveled up some skills. I'm not sure if that's what she wanted, but that's what she got. Oh, here's a little book. Sentiments. No sentiments at the moment. Oh, okay. Ew, I thought we had some sentiments. Have I got sentiments? Oh, sentiments with Scarlet. Oh, sorry. I'm so dumb. It is. This adoring thing It is from, it's in game. It's from the snowy escape pack. So Scarlet, she has the adoring sentiment with. She doesn't have any sentiment about Jasper and she doesn't have any sentiment about Rose. She just has it with Scarlet right now. How about Christopher? He's got nothing about anyone. He does not care. <laughs> and snowy vacation memories, sentiment about Christopher. So Jasper is, has such fun memories of frolicking in the snow with Christopher on vacation. Truly a memorable trip that has made them closer than before. That's so cute. So they've got these little sentiments going on now. Oh, that's so nice. Is there a way to see all the sentiments like my Sims might have about other people other than the people they're just talking to? I don't know if you can see that. I can't see like a specific sentiment tub or anything. But it's nice that at least Minzy's got one for Scarlet and Jasper's got one for Christopher. Okay, everyone to bed. I'm gonna make Minzy play one last game because uh, I need to get this to level 10. And it's so hard to get any skill to level 10. Honestly, it's low-key kind of annoying. <gasps> and she's hit level 9. We're getting there, guys. We're almost there. We're not level to go on logic. We're still at least 7 on Mischief. I find Mischief Okay, I just do. <gasps> and you guys have school in an hour. Well, the vacation is officially over, right? <gasps> Level eight, Miss Chief. Yes. And I think my holiday's ending in like two hours. I really wanted to do a little toboggan with Minzy and Jasper. So I'm gonna try and fit that in before we go. Man, and honestly, the weather's going so low-key grim. It's a kind of good job we're leaving when we are. Everyone's starting to be leaving though. They've had a cute holiday. And oh my gosh, yes, guys. At least these guys are gonna get to do a little ski together. Yes. It's not as bright for you guys in the photo, but at least I got a little screenshot of these guys doing a little a little ski as well. Off you go. Nyom. And oh, 
we have to end the VK and send them home. Still, it was really fun. I'm glad we got to check out a little bit of the park and take them on a little vacation. We're back in the little mint cottage now. I missed it. It's cute. What season even is it here? Is it summer? We're almost in summer though. And I think that vacation for me has kind of made me realize that I think our air, I think our next not so berry challenge for the rose challenge is gonna be Scarlet. I don't know. I just get the right vibe from her. I feel like it's the right direction to take things. We've gone home and I realized we have nowhere for um, the toddler. <laughs> nowhere at all for Jasper to go. So that's fun. I might have to make Jasper his own little room here, which is seriously messing with, uh, you know, the shape of my house here. So there we go. Jasper has his own little room now. I feel like he couldn't have made it more obvious, really, if he tried with the whole blonde hair. That He's not interested in being part of this challenge. He's not interested in being a legacy for this challenge, which is totally fine. So I don't, I've not even given him a red room. He's got a very non-red room here. Oh, look, he's remembering a snowy location. Cute. He's remembering his memories with Chris. Oh, that's so adorable. I like that feature. It adds a little bit more depth. Oh my gosh, and Christopher. Christopher's the first one to get a lifestyle. Wait, 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 there's no, Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. <gasps> We've only been waiting for this for like two episodes. Where, where are you? Where's your lifestyles? Oh, here they are. <gasps> what is your lifestyle? <gasps> people person in progress. Sims live in a people person life has an easier time building and maintaining a large friend group, sometimes at the cost of connecting. Okay, keeps low friendship friends easier, but struggles to make good friends. Various benefits when interacting with a bunch of friends. Less likely to make long-term sentiments with friends. Greater need to be social and tense when friend group contains fewer than four sims. Okay, he's gloomy, so I'm actually surprised that he's a people person, but it's kind of cute. I sort of like that about him. Okay, nice. Oh, and look at this. Nanami stayed in touch with her, even though she's back home again, which is really, really cute. Also, Scarlet's social is up to level eight now, so I feel like we have made the right choice. Minzy is up to level nine with logic, level eight with mischief. She's also up to level seven of a scientist career, so that's probably the one we need to focus the most on but we are really close to the end of the mint challenge which is exciting because i'm really looking forward to moving on to the rose challenge the girls are currently at day seven days until they age up they're basically the end of saturday so it's like six days until they age up would you guys like me to see them age up a little bit earlier let me know if you would do in the comments below our little strange house it's getting bigger and bigger, but of course, when we move Scarlett out, she will be building her own rose house from scratch. So I'm pretty excited for that. If you guys are as well, please give this a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you would like to see in the next episode in the comments below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.